What's going on, Hit Squad? It's your main man, Hitman, and I am back. But once again, with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Online, this is for the family heirlooms, all lost jewelry, the coins, the arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Today is Wednesday, I think. Thursday, actually. Thursday, November 4th. And as I say each and every video, Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, turn on all post notifications so you guys get each and every video that I put out because I put out videos sometimes. <laughs> uh, unless I'm sick. Um, first things first is get to Madame Nazar's location, which today she's up in Big Valley. And as you see, I moved my camp super close to her location so I can just run right to her. That's how I get to her when she's right there. She's right here at this location. She will be here until... 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone. For those of you who don't know, not of America. If you guys cannot move your camp up here in this area, which I try to go somewhere above like this line here. So if I'm up here at my moonshine shack, I'll try to move my camp to the Big Valley area. And I may be lucky enough to get a camp area up here. And then I'll just fast travel to my camp and run to her location because there are no low um, fast travels up here so you have to use your camp as a fast travel if you have that option if you do not have that option just simply fast travel to strawberry and run up the side do not run up through the middle because it'll take you forever in a day and you have to go through the, the mountain and slow poke and all kinds of stuff like that I do not like that I am not a fan of it just go up the side over here uh, or this is a second route which is up the other way up the other side of the mountain but just go up the side and you'll simply get there if you cannot move your camp the next thing i want to talk to you guys about is always the caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle which that is right outside of van horn right here at this location you guys will get or you will see a overwatch platform you climb up the ladder, there should be a level. And then you climb up the ladder again, there should be another level. At the very top, the very top platform, you should see the Caribbean Rum Antique Alcohol Bottle, which that is used for collecting. Uh, you can collect all antique alcohol bottles, or you can use it for, or and you can use it for the Moonshine Shack recipe that gives you the most money once you complete the recipe and deliver with all bottles and stuff like that but let's get down here to normal business which is uh the lemoyne area of the map where i have all the goodies and stuff for you guys for today the uh cycles for today thursday november 4th are Family Heirloom, Cycle 6, All Laws Jury, Cycle 6, Coin Cycle 3, Arrowhead Cycle 4, Wildflower Cycle 5, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 5, All Terror Card Cycle 3, Bird Egg Cycle 2, and Fossils Cycle 4. Remember to check the description box below because I will have everything down there for you guys. The Cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils and how to spell the Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Cash App for the channel just in case you guys do want to find me on other social medias. When I do post, I forgot to post today, but I'll try to post when she does switch after this current location. Um, and the cash app is just in case you guys do want to donate to the channel in any type of way. Let's get to these things that we will find across the Lemoyne area of the map real quick. I do not plan on this video being super long, so I'm going to try to get through everything real quick. Right here at this location right here along the shoreline you guys will get a fossil a random fossil i cannot tell you what it is because it is randomized i do have one up here which is an extra there's an antique alcohol bottle here once again there should be like a little rock pile right here and you should be able to reach right in like a little hole and grab the antique alcohol bottle out of it which this is an antique alcohol bottle this antique alcohol bottle is a scotch whiskey bottle if you guys want to go grab that let's go down a little bit before we get to this next marker i have a cluster of things i want to tell you guys about 
Um, first up here near the word Legras, right across from the word right here, pull out your metal detector, you guys will hit on a random loss jury. I cannot tell you what it is because it is randomized. Right here next to the word Lecay, there's a cluster of things. Uh, right about here, there's a lost jury. Pull out your metal detector at this location next to the skull altar. That's a stack of skulls on the stick. Right here at this location, you guys will get a lost jury. Randomized, I cannot tell you what it is because it is randomized. Right here inside this shack, along this wall on this side, that's why I put it over there. You guys will get a Seven of Cups tarot card. It's inside the house in a cupboard. And also, there's another tarot card right about here. This tarot card is the Two of Swords. This Two of Swords is on a crate next to the wagon. So make sure you guys go get that little small cluster of things. Let's go back over to the left a little bit more inside this house in this corner on the bookshelf you guys will get another tarot card this tarot card is a eight of wands i feel like me telling you all that me telling you guys all this is going to make the video longer than i expected but right here at this marker there's another fossil i cannot tell you what it is because it is randomized put out your metal detector right along this shoreline and that's what you will hit on a random fossil once you do find it Let's go back over here to that marker right here, right inside this house. This marker is a Durant Pro bracelet. This Durant Pro bracelet is in the house on top of the fireplace, on the mantle of the fireplace. So make sure you guys go get that as well. Uh, down at our next location, which I feel like this is one of the ones I should have marked, right here at this location, you guys, will get... A ebony hairbrush. This ebony hairbrush is a family heirloom. This family heirloom is on the bench right in, near the back porch, like right in front of the back porch next to the stairway because there's two stairways right here at this location. That's where you will get or what you will get a ebony hairbrush. Let's uh, go over to our right to our next marker, which is inside the saloon. If you guys can see over to the left. Uh, Doyle's Tavern right go through the front door of the Doyle's Tavern go past the bartender and into the back room and in that back room along the back wall you guys can see a couple shelves and on one of those shelves there's a tarot card this tarot card is a six of wands if you guys do want to grab that have a couple of other things that I did not mark, which is right here across from Gus. There's a large tre treasure chest on the ground. And in that treasure chest, you guys will get a boxwood comb, which is a family heirloom. So go and grab that as well. Uh, one more thing, which is another family heirloom right here down this alley. There's a bench on that bench on the ground floor on that bench. You guys will get a tortoiseshell comb. I cannot... Um, you don't have to dig or anything for this tortoiseshell comb. It's right there, sitting right there on the bench. Just simply go down this alleyway right here. And on this side, it'll be right there on the bench. Let's go over here to our next two markers, which we're going to start with this top one right here at this location. Pull out your metal detector. Uh, right underneath the big tree that's in this backyard. Uh, you might have to walk around the tree once or twice. I'm not sure exactly if you know the location, but right here at this location, you guys will get a random lost jury right near that back tree, that very large tree in this backyard. Over here, this is the little landfill area near this takeover series. Pull out your metal detector. I don't even think it's that far up. Like it's maybe like down here. I don't know, but right here in this area, you guys will get a carved wooden hairpin, which is a family heirloom. Pull out your metal detector right here on top of a pile of trash. And that's what you will get, a carved wooden hairpin family heirloom. Let's go down to our next cluster of markers. Let's go across first. We're gonna go across here and then bounce back. Or should we start over? It doesn't matter. Right here at this top marker, you guys will get a bird egg. This bird egg, egg is a spoonbill egg. This spoonbill egg is in a tree. Shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. 
You cannot get it down any other way. Do not try dynamite or anything like that because you will damage the egg or something like that if, if it's something that you really want. Let's go across the water to our next marker, which is a flower. This flower is a cardinal flower, and this cardinal flower spawns over here in this area each and every day and by its exact location. It tells me exactly what cycle the flowers are on. And today is cycle five. Uh, let's go up here. If you can make your way up through the, I think there's a little area right here. Go up and go around through the train tracks. And there's a row of carts right here along this second, uh, I guess, cutoff. There's a train cart here. And then there's a train cart where the marker is. Jump on the first train cart, climb up the, the first train cart, jump into the second train cart. And in one of those corners, you guys will get an antique alcohol bottle. This antique alcohol bottle is a London dry gin bottle. So make sure, well, this is a flatbed. The second <laughs> is a flatbed train cart. So you jump into it. Anywho, that's what's right there at that marker. Let's go down to our next marker, which is a arrowhead. This arrowhead is randomized. I cannot tell you what it is, but right here in this area, there's a large tree. If you guys pay attention to the grass and like little open areas, like there will be, there will be high grass, like all over the grass, but closer to the tree is like cut, <laughs> which is kind of odd. It kind of indicates that something may be right there. So make sure you pay attention to that stuff when you're, uh collecting stuff and stuff like that but right here around this area pull out your metal detector and you guys will hit on a random arrowhead i cannot tell you what it is because it is randomized let's go over to our next marker which is inside the o of meadows right next to the word boger glade right here at this location if you guys can see that square that's inside the o right inside the middle of that square go right here to this location it's like an outline of a house like a brick outline like there used to be a house there but the rest of the stuff got burned down or burned away and it turned into ash and it blew away <laughs> but go right inside the middle of that makeshift house pull out your metal metal detector and you guys will hit on a random coin i cannot tell you what it is because it is randomized let's go up a little bit there's nothing really important inside of the Braithwaite Manor home, which I usually try to tell you guys anything that's over here. There's a tarot card on this little circle here. This tarot card is a eight of wands if you guys want to go grab that. But up here at our next marker, which is maybe our, yes, that is our last marker. Right here at our next marker, you guys will get a family heirloom right here at this location, right at the back corner of this train station. Let's show you guys the train station, Rose. Uh, train station, um, mail, post office, whatever you wanna call it. Right here at this location, you guys will get a family heirloom. This family heirloom is a Rosewood hairbrush. This Rosewood hairbrush is right here in the treasure chest, right on the corner edge of this building. Make sure you go grab that. Um, I have a couple more little things to tell you guys about, which are basically tarot cards. There's a tarot card up here, right here at this location on the ground floor area. There's a couple crates or boxes. And on that crate, you guys will see a Six of Pentacles tarot card. Up here next to the fence, there's another tarot card right here at this location. And that tarot card is a five of wands. It's on a barrel right next to the fence. If you guys want to go grab that over here in between this building on the barrel, you guys will get a eight of swords tarot card right here. There's a scarecrow and right in front of that scarecrow, you guys will get a random lost jury, pull out your metal detector directly in front of the scarecrow. And that's what you will get or what you will hit on a random lost jury. Uh, inside this house, right here, this farmhouse, there's a Ten of Pentacles inside the house on the fireplace, on the mantle of the fireplace. That's pretty much it for all the extras and stuff like that that I do have for you guys. The cycles, once again, for today, Thursday, November 4th, are 
Family Heirloom Cycle 6, All Lost Jury Cycle 6, Coin Cycle 3, Arrowhead Cycle 4, Wildflower Cycle 5, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 5, Altera Card Cycle 3, Bird Egg Cycle 2, and Fossils Cycle 4. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there for you guys. The fight, the I was gonna say the fossils, the cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils, and how to spell the Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Cash App for the channel. Just in case you guys want to donate or find me on any other social media, I will be there. You can hit me up in the DMs and all that other stuff. If you guys do need advice or need to just say something, it hit me up in the comments it does come to my phone and i will respond if i do see the comment anyway it's your baby man hitman once again with another video thank you guys for watching looking listening liking sharing subscribing commenting and everything else you do for the channel i do appreciate it so so much i haven't said that i feel like but i do appreciate you guys so so much it's your baby man hitman once again with another video and i'm out